The question is not, can you create, but will you create? Erwin McManus. Erwin is the lead pastor at Mosaic, a mega church based in Los Angeles, and is the author of over 13 different books, including The Way of the Warrior and Daylight. I had the utmost pleasure of seeing Erwin speak in person, and I'm so fascinated by his communication style, which is exactly why we're covering him in this week's episode of Master Talk. Hi everyone, Brendan here from Master Talk on your go-to channel to mastering your talk, and today we're talking talking about the amazing Erwin McManus. So let's create. Number one, speak to your audience like they're an old friend. What I appreciate the most about Erwin's communication style is how affectionate he is. He sounds like a concerned father or uncle or friend who's sitting you down in a campfire telling you stories about his life in a really soothing vocal tone. And whenever he talks, it feels like magic because there's genuine concern in his voice. He doesn't speak above you, he speaks with you. Kind of like when your dad or your parent or your friend says, hey, you should really do something about your life. You're not getting your things together. You need to fix this or else you won't be able to move forward. And whenever Erwin talks to me, he doesn't feel like a stranger. But the only way to get there, and that's the lesson, is to take time to speak to your audience. It's obvious through the way that Erwin's speaking that he spent countless an amount of hours with this audience, grabbing dinner with them, understanding their challenges, so that when he gets back on a stage, he can speak out their challenges in a very calm, proactive, funny, and self-deprecating way. So people look at him and go, huh, I really feel like I know this guy. I feel like I can trust them and I wanna follow his advice. Number two, tell stories that make people fall in love with who you are. Irwin says it best, whoever tells the best story shapes the culture. And what he means by this is the better the story, the better we remember it. A lot of us as human beings, we won't remember the numbers, the statistics, the facts, but a great story that somebody told me seven years ago, I still don't forget to this day. So what does that mean for you? That means pull stories from your life that bring out your unique essence and unique set of experiences from your life. And it doesn't have to be traumatic. It doesn't need to be about your dark past. It could be a story about how your parents never let you go out to parties or never let you sleep at your friends' houses or never let you take a walk outside. It's those stories that make you relatable in the same way that Erwin, whenever he keynotes, he talks about his father. He talks about his family. He talks about how those experiences shaped him to become a pastor, something he was never really looking to do ever since he was a kid. And it's those stories that create that warm, fuzzy feeling in your heart whenever you think of that speaker. And finally, number three, find your uniqueness because there's an idea sitting inside of you that only you can share with the world. A great frame for this tip is the following question. What small part of me am I choosing to hide from the world that could help somebody? And Irwin says it better than I. Humans have the capacity to imagine a future that doesn't exist. They have the capability to materialize the invisible. And I love that because it's true. There's only one version of us. There's only one copy. We're one of ones. And because of that, Irwin argues in his keynotes that there's something special. There's something unique that we can communicate. And rather, only us can communicate to the world. But the problem is most of us never look for that missing piece of the puzzle. We hide from it. We shove it under a rug. We don't pay attention to it. We ignore it. And that costs the world our best ideas and ultimately our potential. 
And there's a great question from the book Zero to One written by Peter Thiel that can help us begin the journey of cultivating our unique essence. And that question is, what's one truth that you believe in that most people disagree with you on? What's something that you feel is true about life, that's true about the world, that you think most people get wrong? And if you can figure out an answer to that question, my friends, you have a unique idea that's ready to share with the world. The question is not, can you create, but rather, what will you create? Irwin's right. As human beings, we are unique creatures with a unique set of gifts and values. So the only logical thing to do left with our lives is to figure out what that is and to communicate them exceptionally well through the world, ideally through stories. And if you can do that, my friends, you will be just as amazing as the great Erwin McManus is. As always, if you enjoyed this week's episode of Master Talk, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel as well to see more videos like this. And of course, for those of you who don't know yet, I do a 90 minute free training over Zoom on effective communication for all my viewers. It's absolutely free, it's live, it's every two weeks, and I encourage you to show up to it so that you can meet me as well and have a conversation with me. And if you want that, the link is in the comments below. I can't wait to see you there. And of course, as always, if you know one person that's a fan of Mosaic or in McManus, be sure to send them this video so that they'll be one step closer to mastering their communication skills. Until next time. Everyone.